What's going on guys? Red One here. We're back. <laughs> We're back today with that high side crash video. So to be honest guys, I've never done this type of video before, but I felt the need to in hopes that some of you will never have to experience the cost of fixing a bike, road rash, you know, even like broken limbs. And what bothers me the most is all the stupid stuff that I do on a motorcycle from trying to drag a knee to, to wheelies, you know, but yet something so simple was the reason I went down. Yeah. So as you can see, this is not my R6. Nope. <laughs> not even a little bit. Now, nah, this is Cali Girls 2013 GSXR 1000. And to be honest, this is one of those times where having an extra 400 cc's didn't work out in my favor. I mean, this night, I'm out just trying to run a few errands. I mean, I need to stop by the ATM. You know what I mean? I stopped by the store, picked up a few items. You know what? At this point, I'm going to just let the video play into the crash. And then I'll bring you back and explain to you what I was thinking and where my head was. Kind of wicked, right? So, I know what you're thinking. Yo, Red, where the rest of the video at? How come it just end like that? Blah, blah, blah. Well, the honest truth is, man, there is no rest of the video. That's it. You know, my, my, my GoPro case was totally destroyed. And, you know, and, and, and the honest truth is, I found my GoPro laying lens up, lying in the middle of the street. So, I was lucky that it still works. But, unfortunately, as soon as I hit... It stopped. Now let's back it up a little bit. As I'm approaching the stoplight, my attention is not on the water hazard that's right in front of me. It's focused on the car that's getting ready to cross through the intersection and the car that's following behind him. So I tuck in right behind the first car because there's enough room for me to fit, but with all that extra horsepower and getting a little too, as Tim Kreitz says, hot in the throttle, boom goes the dynamite, <laughs> if you feel me. <laughs> I mean, you would think something so easy to see would be so obvious. Well, this night, it wasn't. I ended up when I went down, I ended up sliding along my shoulder and my helmet. You know, both of my legs were in the air. Now, it, it was a real funny, unique crash. But here's the thing. I was lucky that nothing was broken. I was lucky that the bike was just damaged cosmetically. But I'm not going to lie. I had soreness the next day. And it honestly got progressively worse the next following days. But I just want to say this. Remember that this can happen to anybody at any time, anywhere. And the best way to protect yourself is with proper gear. Whether it's leather, mesh jackets, whatever. Just protect yourself, people. So with that, if you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Also, if you feel the need to, let me know your crash situations or crash stories in that doobly-doo down below. And with that being said, guys, I'm Red One, and as always, ride safe and all that other shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.